In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply integers together. To set this up, we'll consider some problems that we've seen before. First, I want to remember that multiplication means repeated addition. In other words, when we consider 3 times negative 5, what that really means is we're adding negative 5 3 times. Negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. And we know from experience with addition that if we add a bunch of negatives, we still have a negative. 5, 5, and 5 is 15. We have negative 15. Before we summarize, let's move on to consider negative 3 times 5. It's odd to think about adding negative 3 of these 5's together, so rather than thinking of this as a negative, let's think about that as an opposite. We want the opposite of whatever 3 times 5 is. This means we have the opposite of 3 5's. 5 plus 5 plus 5. Well, the 3 5's are 15, and if we take the opposite of it, we get negative 15 for a solution. We can combine both of these ideas together as we multiply negative 3 times negative 5. This means we have the opposite of 3 negative 5's. Negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. Which means inside the parentheses here, we've got negative 15, a whole bunch of negatives, but on the outside of the parentheses, we want the opposite of that. And the opposite of negative 15 is positive 15. And this kind of idea introduces or suggests the pattern we're going to use when multiplying our integers together. When we had different signs, well actually, let's do same signs first. When we had the same sign, a negative times a negative, we ended up with a positive solution. When we have the same sign, the answer is positive. When multiplying with different signs, and it didn't matter which one was negative or positive, a positive times a negative was negative, and a negative times a positive was negative as well. In other words, if the signs don't match, the answer is negative. Keeping in mind this pattern, we should be able to multiply very quickly with our integers. Same signs positive, different signs negative. So for example, if we have 7 times negative 4, we see we have different signs. Because they're different, with multiplication, the answer is negative. 7 times 4, then, is 28, and we have negative 28 for our solution. Let's consider another example negative 5 times negative 9. Here, we see they are both the same sign. With multiplication, when we have the same sign, the answer is positive. 5 times 9 is 45, and we get positive 45 for our solution. Again, the positive's not needed. I'm simply writing it for emphasis. We can simply say the answer is 45. Let's do one more. Negative 6 times 3. Notice we have a positive times, oh, I'm sorry, a negative times a positive. Because we have different signs, the answer is negative, and 6 times 3 is 18. We get negative 18 for our solution. As we remember, this pattern of multiplying with the same sign makes it positive, and multiplying with different signs make it negative. I have one warning I want to address before we wrap up this video. The first example we did was 7 times negative 4. A common error is students will subtract 7 minus 4 to get 3. But I want to notice that 7 is right next to the parentheses. Remember, when we're right next to parentheses with nothing in between, we assume the operation is multiplication. So be very careful of that error. When a number is next to parentheses, we are actually multiplying, not subtracting 4, but multiplying by negative 4. And that writes up, wraps up multiplying with integers.